Hey guys, uh, this is Scott here from Space Coast Mealworms with another demonstration of what I do um, every now and then when my babies start getting larger. Uh, these are not ready to sell. These are medium to small to baby size um, in, in measurement. And they're all in the same tray. The reason why they're all different sizes in the same tray is because when they were all put in here as eggs, not all of the eggs hatched exactly the same day. Some hatched a few days later, um, some even a couple weeks later than others. Um, it's just a natural thing that mealworms do. Um, in addition to that, when I'm feeding uh, the mealworms vegetables, not every single worm gets to a vegetable because of distance or they're busy in a corner and they don't see it or whatever the reason. Um, and so over time, you get a variety of different sizes of worms um, in the same bin. Even though you try to pull out a bin of eggs every week or two, it just happens. It's a natural progression. Um, and so today I'm going to show you what I do to sort them by size. Um, because at this size here, when they're about small to medium, they're finally going to be trapped in our green sifting pans. Um, I can't size these any earlier. I have to wait until like, I don't know, wait a week eight or so to be able to sort them by different sizes. So as you can see over here, um, I have three bins on the floor. I've been doing this for a couple trays already today. These are my largest sizes so far. Um, and then the middle and then these are the bottom sizes. Um, and sitting down here, these are the ones that are needing to go into the smallest size container. These are my baby, baby, babies. Um, they need to go in there. So let me dump these in here real fast. Dump this in here. I'll explain the whole process in just a moment. Okay, we're going to reset our sifters. I'll watch, walk you through the process. So we're going to pour about half of this in. You don't want it too full that it overfills because then you don't have air gaps for it to fall and sift. Sift real fast. If you have this five piece sifter set, I actually have a sixth one, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, but if you get the five piece sifter set, this top piece is great because it catches all of your uh, large food chunks if you have any. The second piece will catch your small food chunks if you have any. Um, and some of your pupa, you shouldn't have any pupa at this size. So nothing really should be caught in those two. Um, but then we have the one eighth size here. This is going to be where I put my largest worms. All the worms from here are going to go in my large bucket. They're not really large, but they're the largest I've got in these trays. They're really more like mediums. But it still helps me uh, sort by size. Okay, so this little batch, I would say they're just medium in size. A couple of them are actually medium large. They just go into this first bucket. Again, this first bucket is nothing but worms that were trapped in my 1 8 size. Now I'm going to move down to the 1 12 size. And these worms were obviously small enough to fall through the 1 8 so they're going to be smaller than this first batch. So these worms are going to go into my second batch. Let me try to get some of the smallest worms out still. Because not every single worm that's in this bin is perfect size. Some of them are still small baby worms that just get stuck. I'll show you what I do about that in a little bit. out. This is my worm tickling process that I do to get all the worms out of the screen. I have another video on that if you're just interested in learning how to do that trick. Okay, so out of my three bins, this bin is going in my middle bin because they were all caught by the 1 12th size. Now I'm down to my 1 20th. Again, these are my babies, 
I'm gonna sift as much bran and frass out of here as I can. That's good. You're gonna get some left over and that's okay. It just means I'll eat it next. You can look at all these babies. Thousands and thousands of babies. Nice and healthy. And these are gonna go into my baby bin. And whatever is left over, this is mainly wheat bran. There shouldn't be any worms in here really at this point, um, but there are. There's very, very, very tiny babies still. That just shows you the range of sizes. This was all in the same uh, two weeks of growing, but there's still tiny little babies in here. So I'm gonna put them into a fourth bin, which is right down under here that I've been hiding. This is gonna be my little nursery. There's no reason why these worms need to be mixed in with your largest of worms. So reset, do it again with the rest of my original container. Rinse and repeat. Okay. We're gonna pretend that we already did that. Um, eventually, once I do this system for all of my trays, um, all the trays that have medium to baby size, once I get them filled by different sizes, I'm still going to filter them one more time. I'm going to put all of this tray in my bucket system again. And you'll see that even though they were all caught by my one eighth mesh, there's still gonna be some that fall into the one twelfth and into the one twentieth um, and so on. And even into the one thirtieth. So I did my first round of sifting, but I always uh, do it a second time again um, because babies, you know, cling on to the older ones and so on. So. Let me show you that in just a moment. Let me clear this one out. Uh, we'll fast forward through this part maybe. Now, we're going to take my largest size of worms that I've got. Again, these were all of the worms that were caught in my 1 8 sieve. And I'm going to run it through my sifters again to help filter them down into even more accurate sizes. There's no brand in here, no frass. So it should be real simple to sift. And just put this down here for now. And nothing should be stopped with this size. All these worms should fall through the second C. It's my one fourth size. If you're in a rush and you don't want to keep shaking until they all fall in, you can just kind of get them to one edge and dump them in. Because you know they're all going to fall through eventually. All right, so here we go. Here's my one eighth size. So just some more. The sm uh, smaller amount of worms you have in here, the faster they will sift into their correct size holes. So this is really thick and really dense. So it might take actually a couple times of doing this or some repeated sifting in order to truly get them down into their correct sizes. It's all a matter of how important that is to you to size them properly. But just for demonstration purposes, let me put these in a new container and show you the amount that has already fallen through. I have not seen it yet. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but my guess is there's gonna be plenty of worms in the next tray below. And look at that, plenty of worms. Remember, these are all worms 
that were held up by my 1 8 size the first round. But now that I've sifted again, they've fallen through the 1 8 and into the 1 12th. So let me put this back here. The more times you go through this process, the more accurate your sizing will be over time. And again, I haven't seen the bin underneath, but I'm guessing that there's also going to be some worms that fell through this 1 12th size into my 1 20th. See, and there we are, there's 1 20th. I'm going to dump these into the middle one. These are all my 1 20th size worms, my smallest, almost smallest. And look, there's even some, a little bit underneath. Get close up with that. These babies can all go in my bin down here, my nursery. All right, so as you can see, the more times you go through this process, this bin will probably become smaller and smaller and smaller, the amount of worms that are in there, um, because your first time sifting, you're gonna get a lot of middle and small worms that get mixed up here. So the more times you run this batch through the, the sifting setup, the more worms fall into the next two trays, the 1 12th and the 1 20th. Um, and then once you get this pretty good sized, do the same thing with your 1 12th size as well, because you're gonna see a bunch of worms that are in here that really belong in that tray or in your little nursery tray. All right, so that's our lesson for today is how to sort worms by sizes. Um, should be common sense for most of us, but this is how I do it. I just have these bins on the floor because I just need some space to do all of my work um, and to sit by sizes. Eventually, if these become fuller, again, this is just a couple trays that I showed you if these become fuller, when I go to put them back in my racks, I divide them up um, into trays and I add fresh bran and vegetables, um, but, and then I mark them um, by size. That way, when I'm ready to sell, I know which ones to pull from. All right, have a good weekend.